In tonight's special report, we have part one of our series on mental health and how the pandemic's affecting some people dealing with various mental health issues. According to the CDC, more than half of Americans will be diagnosed with a mental health illness or disorder at some point in their lifetime. And tonight, we introduce you to Ashlyn, who suffers from OCD and says it's gotten worse during the pandemic. My hands are constantly cracked and bleeding. They hurt, and honestly, it hurts. Ashlyn Balfons has obsessive compulsive disorder, something she's dealt with since she was 12. She washes her hands anywhere from 40 to 60 plus times a day and counts as she washes them. If anything goes wrong during the process, she has to start over. It's torture. It really is. It's torture. Um, I'm constantly having to put lotion on. I'm constantly having to, I mean, I don't even like to show my hands or my arms to people because, I mean, it, it looks like a rash. It looks like, you know, I have a disease or something. Something's wrong with me. And Ashlyn says the pandemics made it worse. I have a, a child at home. He just turned a year old. Um, and so I was pregnant when the pandemic started. And I believe, like, I was very afraid to get sick and I was afraid something happening to my newborn. Exacerbations of pre-existing anxiety conditions. It's something Abilene psychotherapist Daniel Latham, who doesn't treat Ashlyn, continues to see. He says one remedy for general mental health issues might be as simple as getting outside. Get outside every day, even if the weather is not ideal. Spend some time it doesn't have to be doing a specific physical activity or recreation. It could just be going on a walk, taking the, the dogs out, um, walking around your neighborhood, going for a drive. Latham says the pandemic's also creating conflict within some families when they don't agree on the precautions to take against COVID. And it really impacts people because they worry not only for their family members, but they worry about themselves, you know, especially if they've got kids going to school. Um, how is that going to affect them? Are we all going to get sick if one of us gets sick? Latham encourages social support, something Ashlyn says she's lucky to have among her family, friends, and coworkers. And she hopes others dealing with a similar condition will reach out for that support too. I know for the longest time I felt alone. I felt like I was going crazy because I was the only person that actually had this type of OCD and they're not alone. And help is out there and even though I'm still actively searching for help, it is out there and I know that we can overcome this. You can always call 211 to find mental health services in your area and tomorrow night we'll have part two of our series on mental health. We'll introduce you to Katie and find out how depressions affected her during the pandemic. That's tomorrow night on K Texas News at 10.